welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi and today I have another travel video with you. Today we're not going too far, we're heading to Port Stephens. That's about three hours from Sydney. It's a pretty small and quiet like beachside town sort of area. There's a whole bunch of beaches and bays all in this same little area. I have been there before but I have not been to this accommodation that I'm staying at. So I'll be staying at the Port Stephens Koala Sanctuary. I'm sure no matter where you're from you know of our cute little Australian koalas. They are honestly adorable. They're not as cuddly as people would think but they are adorable. From my understanding at this place Place, you've got all of the like bush area and the bush walks and the koalas will just be chilling in the trees. They also have a koala hospital there so they bring in the koalas, they fix them up and then if they can be back in the wild they are and if they're not they have a home here. I'm so excited to bring you guys along. I'll show you the place, I'll show you what we get up to over the long weekend. I've picked out two books to bring. I know I won't read both, I will pick one, but I've chosen Sea Witch by Sarah Henning and The Vanishing Deep by Astrid Schult. Obviously we were going to bring some ocean themed books, we're going to be by the water. And my bookmark that I've chosen to match is The Whale bookmark from Divine Pages and Co. Don't forget you can use my code Lexi10 for 10% off when you purchase two or more items. So I'm going to go finish packing all my stuff and I will catch up with you guys soon. Stevens Koala Sanctuary. This is our little home for the next few days. It is the studio room and I will bring you guys along for a room tour now. Hello guys, so this is a room tour. We have the studio room. As you can see you've got the little lounge and that looks over to the TV and this desk area. You've got a closet with like extra blankets, hanging space. We have a dishwashing kit. Amazing. Please ignore all my crap here. Got a cute little TV. We have our bed. Have a little mirror. Hello guys. And we don't have a kitchenette so we do have a fridge. She said everything in the room is included too, which is good to know. They give you they give you this complimentary breakfast kit thing. So you've got some toast, toaster, kettle. We got an adorable little koala sanctuary bag, muesli and some toppings, and we have a microwave as well. I just wanted to add here that there was in fact kitchen utensils. At the last minute, we decided to pack our own because we just weren't sure what there would be because we didn't have a kitchenette, but it was well stocked. And then this is the bathroom. So we've got the vanity here, toilet and shower essentials. Something we also considered was whether it has air conditioning, so can confirm that it does. And yeah, it's a great little space and we're gonna go get ready for the beach. We decided to head down to One Mile Beach, which was a literal five minute drive from our accommodation. It was around a 30 degree day, so it was perfect for swimming. As you can see, the sun was shining down, there's not a cloud in the sky. Luckily though, I was prepared. I bought this little shelter from Amazon, it was like $40 and I definitely recommend it. As you can see, there was absolutely no shade on the beach, so it was super useful. There's also a cafe at this beach where we stopped to get some dinner. 
I got the loaded fries and Sam got the salt and pepper squid. Hello vlog, so today is day two. We actually got up pretty early today for our standards and we went and did the koala sanctuary walk. The walk was really fun and we actually saw quite a lot of koalas. I will insert some footage here. Basically all of the guests are invited to do the koala sanctuary walk between 8am and 9am which is before the park opens to the public. Throughout the walk as well, you can see the glamping tents, whereas our accommodation was off to the side. I don't think it would get too noisy on this walk that you would feel disrupted or anything, but there was an extra element of privacy with our accommodation. Then you get to what they call the treetop walk. This is an elevated walk where you are closer to the koalas. They choose to have this walk at this time because that's when they're changing the leaves for the koalas, so they're a lot more active than they would normally be. We were super lucky and we got to see so many koalas. It was really cute and such a fun experience. The added benefit of it being just a small group of people and not too crowded, not too many kids, was also a massive benefit. As you can see, we got some amazing photos of Basil, who was really playing up for the camera. This environment is just so stunning and I would 100% recommend. Now we're going to explore the area. We're going to have a drive around and see what we find, probably stop off for some lunch. And I think we want to try and swim today if the weather holds out. So I'll bring you guys along and let's get going. We literally decided to just get in the car and drive around. It was actually really fun. We ended up stopping at Nelson Bay. As you can see, they've got a beautiful marina and it is just such a nice relaxed vibe. The park is really well looked after, so you could definitely have brought your own food here for a picnic and kids like to jump off the wharf as well. We decided to stop here for lunch. I honestly don't know what this restaurant was called, but it was delicious. It also had this stunning rooftop view. We both decided to get some ciders and for lunch I got the salt and pepper squid because I was jealous of Sam's last night and he stuck with a pizza. Obviously being a beachside town there is a lot of swimwear, there's a lot of summer clothes. After our little shopping trip we headed back to the car and decided to go to the beach. Even though we really loved One Mile Beach we decided to try somewhere different for today's adventure. We headed to by Ruby Beach, which actually sits on the Anna Bay sand dunes. Once you park and walk up the small hill, you can see the sand dunes and you can see the beach. While we were here, there were some camel rides happening, which was really cute. Funnily enough, I have actually ridden a camel and it was really fun. So if you're in the area, I would recommend this experience. Very much like the day before, we just set up our little spot. We got in and out of the water and it was a fantastic day. We are about to head for dinner at Valhalla, so hopefully it is nice and yeah, hopefully it's a good time. How beautiful was this sunset that we got to witness as we drove to dinner? As mentioned, we had dinner at Valhalla restaurant and bar. Even though it was a beautiful venue, I definitely wouldn't recommend it. The staff just seemed so confused, nobody knew what was going on. And the food was just not up to scratch. I got the pepperoni pizza and I can honestly say it's the worst one I've had. Hello vlog, so today is day three and we are just about to head out for the day. We are going to go to the shark and stingray aquarium thing that they've got down the road and we might come back to look at the koalas again it's meant to be really good to see them in the afternoon then we might have a swim and just relax for our last full day on holidays this was such an awesome day out we probably spent about an hour and a half here you definitely could spend longer though there is no time limit once you pay your entry fee the entry fee does include the standing with the stingrays as well the feeding and looking at the aquarium was also included. If you wanted to get in and like lie down with the stingrays, you do have to rent a wetsuit, which I think was $10.
There is also a kids play area on the property too, so you can sort of sit down and have a break. The inside was super small. The aquarium was literally the tank that if you're coming here, you're really coming for the stingray experience. The staff were all super friendly. Everybody was really helpful and it was definitely a great day out. Highly recommend. So we're going to feed the stingray. you got to make the... Oh, he's here. He's here. He's here. Come back. <laughs> How was it? It was It feels weird, huh? Uh huh, feels weird though, right? It does feel weird. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, bro. He's getting it. He's trying to steal my stick. I like it. Oh, that's a big guy. He's big. Holy jeep. Oh, <laughs> Did he get it? No. So we're Go walking around. Can I look at some more stingrays? We just done some feeding. Like she's gonna kill me because I'm not really meant to be on her vlog, but <laughs> I've got the camera now. So she's gonna walk around and have a look at some more stingrays. Like when you stroke them, it's really strange because it's so like smooth and slimy, but they're the most gentle things ever. They get a bad rap in the news. I mean, yeah, we lost Steve, but they're really friendly. What are you doing, Lex? We're gonna pat some stingrays. Nice. Let's see if we can find some. Lex, what do you think of stingrays? <laughs> they're so cute. I love them and their little faces. And they kind of stuff up the food. It's really cute. How we, it, their mouth is just like a weird little hop, hop, hop. It is strange. And when they eat, you see that move and all their gills move, move on the side. And it just it looks really cute. Apparently, apparently they're either like little hair cone kind of thing. It's kind of cool, huh? It is. It's like a big place, so there's like this tank here is like a little one, it's like a little one. I don't know what's supposed to be in there, but there isn't anything. You look around, so this is the main like big spot and they've got like 20 at least stingrays in there and they're all huge. If you see all these like people over here, they're doing like a show, so they feed them, they come up to them, they can stroke them and, and do all kinds of things. Yeah, let's go have a look. We've just come down to the pool for a little swim. This is our first time down checking out the pool and I am very impressed. It is so nice down here. At the moment it's completely empty so we have the pool to ourselves. There's quite a few little ducks hanging around by the pool. It's adorable. We're gonna keep swimming but I just thought to update the vlog. As you can see it is so tranquil here. Obviously there being no families helped, but even when there was people here, it was still a really nice place to chill out. The water was super warm and it does get a good amount of shade in the afternoon. I also want to point out that there is steps to get into this pool. There's no ladder. I didn't do a great job of filming it, but there was about three steps to get into the pool. You could also use their pool noodles and floaty accessories that they had on site. Also right next to the pool is the barbecue. That's great for, again, if you had our room where you don't have a kitchenette, you could definitely buy your own meats from the local Woolies. It's about 10 minutes away and then come home and fix it up. As you can see, we definitely may do without the kitchenette, but we may do and you can as well. 
Hello guys, so this is Editing Lexi. I realized I forgot to film an outro, so here it is. As you can see, I had a fantastic time. I have pretty much told you guys everything I could think of. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. While you are here as well, don't forget to leave this video a like and subscribe to my channel as well. I will have much more content coming out soon, so stay tuned, and I will speak to you guys in the next video. Bye! We're keeping that in, because that's funny. It's <laughs> not in. <laughs> <laughs>